Okay, so I'm about to milk the goat. Um, I'm using a bleach and soap solution with mostly water, it's just a splash of bleach, a splash of dish soap, and I put it on a rag so that um, I can wipe the teats down, make sure that they are nice and clean and sterile. So now we gotta go find our goat. These are some of the animals on our farm, our little farmlet. We have, uh, this is Cowlick, this is our calf. This is Lume, she gives us our milk. Um, this is little guy, his job is to get Misu pregnant, and Misu is Tiramisu for short. Um, Misu is a Nigerian dwarf and Toggenberg cross, and little guy over there, there he is, is a Nigerian dwarf. Um, I'm very particular about the type of goat because of the milk they produce. These two goats make really creamy, really tasty milk. The great thing about goat milk is that it's homogenized and so it doesn't separate. So it's great for your coffee. It's great for something where you don't want the cream to separate from the rest of the milk. Um, so let's see if we can get Misu to stop eating her yummy weeds that we just pulled and take her over to get milk. <laughs> I'm going to milk Misu on our stanchion here. This is a handmade one. Um, in my uh, grain feeder, I have some grain and some sunflower seeds. We notice that the sunflower seeds really give a better amount of milk and it's richer. Um, I like to put a little bit of hay on top so she has to search for it because we don't want her eating too much. And she loves the routine because she gets her yummy treat when she gets milk. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make sure I get these teats real nicely milked. And see, she's such a good goat. She's ready for me. She gets in position and is ready to give me all the milk because I'm treating her well. And she loves her milking time. All right, so when I milk, I'm gonna start with my fingers at the top and I'm gonna squeeze slowly down. It takes some practice at first. You're not gonna be able to get it. In fact, most people can't figure it out at first, but over time, you get the routine down. With goats, you're gonna do just the top few fingers. With cows, you're gonna use your whole hand. But these ones, she has some little teeth. So we just use those top two fingers. So first what I do is I Squeeze each one until we get down to a little bit lower. Now when I get to the point where I'm getting a little less milk, it helps to grab the back of the udder with your fingers and kind of pull it up a little bit to let the rest of the milk out. And at this point, I use a little more of my hand and I push on the top of the udder where it's a little more soft than it was before and it'll help me get more of the milk out. Misu consistently gives me about a pint of milk each day. Um, she's on the lower side because she had weaned her babies before we started milking. Uh, the next time around, she's probably gonna give us a little more than a pint of milk each time. Um, some of the larger goats will give you a lot more milk. Um, and some of the smaller ones, depending on the goat. Some will give a lot, some will give a little but her milk is nice and creamy and rich and naturally homogenized.